Welcome back. You're watching Mirror at One. Now, amid the water crisis being faced in the state of Karnataka, the state government has decided to launch four apps to streamline certain processes and to aid the campaign for saving water. Now, these four apps are called Jalamitra, Parisara Jalasnehi, Antarajala and Samarakshaka. These four apps can be used for the following purposes to volunteer for water leakage, survey and conservation measures to reserve the supply of reused water for treated purposes other than drinking, and for citizens to apply for borewell permission and get NOC, and to spot violators who are using drinking water for other purposes and find them on the spot. Meanwhile, Karnataka Deputy CM DK Shukumar says there is no water crisis as far as Bengaluru is concerned. In fact, D.K. Shokumar further said that the BJP's allegations of releasing water to Tamil Nadu are false. He also appealed to the Prime Minister for permission for the Meke Datu Dam. Listen in. As far as Bangalore, there is no water crisis. Only about uh, uh, 7,000 borewells have been tried. But we have made an alternative arrangement for all those things. We have taken control of the water tax. We have identified the water sources. We will see that water will be supplied. BGP is trying to tell that we are leaving water to Tamil Nadu. It is totally false. We have kept at no point of time we can't release any water to Tamil Nadu. There is no water to be released. It is just a political game they are trying. Let they do their thing. Even as the IT capital of the country is facing a water crisis, the government in Karnataka is putting in measures to ensure participation from citizens at the earliest and ensure that it is in fact you know, a collective decision to try and conserve water. Well, in a bit to do that today, the Karnataka government has launched a campaign here of saving water and ensuring that it is for a better tomorrow. Well, these vehicles that you see are going to be sent around across the city. And most importantly, of course, there are four apps that have now been launched, which people, you know, of course, would be able to download and get in touch with the government to try and help them conserve water. While on one hand, we're seeing that the politics around this entire issue has snowballed into a massive issue here in the state ahead of the Lok Sabha election with the opposition attacking the government over mismanagement of water. On the other hand, is the government that's reached out to citizens now to come forward and help them conserve water at every step. Remember, it is, of course, you know, every drop that counts at this point in the state. And we're hopeful that with hotter days and drier days, that we're able to tide over this crisis together. So we are seeing that schools today are facing a severe water crunch. So many of them have, you know, started to even reuse the water that's there. Several of them have advised children to bring their own water from homes. Specific to this, sir, how are you going to be looking at this? So basically, many of the schools and hospital establishments, they were earlier depending upon the boreholes only. They have not taken the connections from the cafeteria. However, uh, controlling the situation, the boreholes are dried up. That may be the issue for their uh, shortages. Uh, on behalf of Jalamandli, on behalf of the government of Karnataka, we assure you that if you need really the water, you please approach us and we will definitely provide a drinking water for the schools. However, the schools are going to uh, close by uh, about April 15th after the regular vacation. So till then, whatever is the, uh, your requirement, please intimate us. Uh, we are there to support you. There is no need of panic or no need of being uh, disheartened. I know you have not taken the connections of Kaveri, but in this kind of situation, we are there with you.